You have to talk now, Dan. I don't, I don't want to talk. You have to talk. Okay. While I use a lint roller on my shirt, because I forgot to do it during the break. Do you really need to roll? Look, I've got lint on my shirt. I want to remove it. Okay. Um, it's uh, pistol time after a heavy f uh, defeat. Heavy feats, I was going to say, but heavy defeats. Defeatery. It is going to be Torpedo looking to try to bring this to a third map. But SK on their choice now, Mirage, looking to crush the Swedish opposition. Now, we'll have to see whether or not Torpedo can have a better game with this. Already they do have the B bomb side at the start of the sec of the first round. Oh my god, I'm just I'm a mess. Come on, Dan. Can't even do this. Come on. <laughs> I can't, I can't commentate. Alright, so, what is this awful sound? It's just it's a horrible sound. Anyway, um well, the lint, so, the lint roller. Torpedo will be able to close that one, able to get into the B-bomb site, get the plant down, and get the kills as SK try to go for that very difficult retake. And now it's gonna be the fourth spy. And this is kind of what happened in the previous map. We had uh, the SK starting out on the CT side, losing the pistol, and then crushing Torpedo in the following round. So Torpedo must, absolutely must, avoid a similar occurrence right here, right now. Right I think here. it should be harder for them to uh, to to win the fourth by yes. on Mirage than Cobblestone. I agree, but so it depends on the I, th I think I think that uh, Torpedo will have a generally better time of things on Mirage as well, as uh, yeah, I think it's easier to cope cope with to a certain level so, than Cobblestone. I don't understand. Quite strangely, they had everyone by T slope, including the bomb. Waited until one A team, and then now they're sending all those people to opposite directions of the map. Nice kill from Atta though, he's able to pick up the frag. Perhaps they were just expecting a rush timing from SK Gaming. Perhaps they were just trying to catch a pop flash to set up uh, to, to aggressively get some information as the, the, the force buying players potentially. But again, you know, as they are in force buy, they don't have much to work with, but doesn't matter if they're connecting shots like that. Magis Boy taking down Darty, putting it to a four versus four. And the problem for Torpedo here is that they've lost a lot of health on these players and they're splitting up so much now that they're actually allowing the CTs to get one versus ones. And this could go very poorly right now because there is a scout in play on freeze. He is tagged down to 14 HP, but that scout could do mad damage considering that Zende and Atta have combined 59 HP together. We've got Pimp there looking to force the issue potentially going into the A bomb site. So it's going to be tough here for the keys to hold on to potentially. It's going to be very awkward for both sides, but Decent is picking up the frags here. And it's going to be able to clean up the loss, but that was a little bit scary. And it's going to be 2 0. And SK Gaming now on the full save. All right, so Torpedo have opportunity now. This is going to be a good round for them, unless they just nade themselves into spawn or something. I don't see how it could be a bad round for them. Um, so we'll see SK on the bye next round and then the real game shall begin. So we'll see if uh, SK are going to commit to playing a site together or if they're just going to go for USP duels. Got their Mac 10 on the run around as well. You know, I, I realise that the MP9, of the SMGs, the MP9 is actually comparably good for just jumping around and still being reasonably accurate in comparison to the others. Yeah, it's, not the Mac, it's not the Mac 10 in that way. It's better than the Mac 10. It's like, the Mac, the Mac 10 is 50% worse, I think. Is this just kind of the, the kind of role you want with Mac 10? It's like, okay, it's very expendable, it's very cheap, it's basically costs the same sort of thing. It's the equivalent, I suppose, more or less, of the Mac 10. The Mac 10 is used for that all the time too, so. So it'd be nice to see uh, a little bit more of. I think we are though. And we're seeing more UMP, which is good as well. People finally realizing that that is the, one of the best, well, the, probably the most cost efficient choice and, and, and best answer to a lot of these terrible situations where you are stuck with no nades unless you buy the UMP, basically. Yeah. And, you, and your only other option with that kind of cost range is like an MP9. So you take the UMP, you take the UMP, because you're gonna be up against AKs probably. Yeah, the good thing about the MP7 is the running accuracy. Um, but then I was trying to figure out what, what the value is for another $500.
but it's only uh, it only does a little bit less damage compared to a FAMAS. So I think if you're going up into that scale, I'm still working on it at the moment, but I'm definitely nerding out on the spreadsheet stamp. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's always good to to establish stuff like this because sometimes certain things can be overlooked, but very situationally good. And if you find out which situ situations they are very, very good at, then it's uh, fun times. But we might have a bit of uh, trickery around the, the smoke on top mid here. And indeed, you can see Downey, wish he'd changed his name, looking for uh, an angle, but it's being denied so far with the passive play, passive approach of the SK side is quite a reasonable approach. And so, ooh, the pre-fire, that's, that's, nice, that's a nice bit of pre-fire there from Decent. Not gonna connect anything this time, but the, uh, the fort is there. And there's a good one. I think he actually had a pop flash go into the window then. Ooh. Something that not every team in the top 20 on HLTV are apparently capable of doing, Dan. So uh, that's a good, that's a plus for Torpedo. Pips got himself into ladder room, which is becoming increasingly popular actually in on Mirage at the moment, but he's gonna get traded by decent. So seems their aim is pretty decent, pun not intended this, this time. 45 seconds left and uh, we have the uh, B Lurker moving to pick up the bomb. Ooh, Acillian spots, Acillian finds, Acillian kills. But uh, Freezer doesn't seem to be sure where to go. Though the CT is gonna set up for, a, for an A play or should I say an A defense? It's an interesting position for Modi. Is his angle covered? No, he's gonna go down. So it is spotted what's going on here, but there's only two T's left. Looking to be uh, playing for picks really, and they haven't worked out. So SK Gaming are going to win their first buy round with four players alive. Can't really risk to uh, chase Darty down for the time being. So we'll see if uh, Torpedo can break. Although, I mean, it should be a buy even if they if Torpedo were to win this round. So we'll see if they can do some damage and then go from there. Yes, we shall see if there will be any damage. But uh, it looks like we'll get the, the smokes going over the top there towards the catwalk. It is the very standard smoke. You can pretty much do it every time. Oh, freeze, yes. Can he get the frag? Boom! How what? is that not connecting? Must have gone through his legs. That sucks. Freeze had the sickest play there. That was such. That was so perfect. He. He looked. That looked really on. He did not deserve to go down. He did not deserve for wrecked. That is for sure. That is for sure. Absolutely. I'm not. disgusted that that did not work. Because that that actually in reality makes me. That makes me sad. Because, yeah, it is sad, yeah, they because they might lose the round now. Because if you if you make the best plays, you should get the best results. Freeze made the, made the sickest play. Because that's that, that's a very hard jump to pull off. You have to pull it off first time, and you, he's got an op, so that's really risky. Imagine if he just drops there. You know, it's really risky. But he ha he's he perhaps has practiced that jump enough that he's confident in his success rate. Goes for the jump, and then misses the shot. This is not justice. Someone, is. someone call Batman. What I like to do, which is infinitely more risky, is just jump into mid. <laughs> just jump into mid. Just jump into mid and stand by the wall, because it's quite often, um, well, I'll come to it when we're not in the middle of a round, actually. And the Syrian basically gets the same frag he got last time, where he's battling with the guy who's using the wall to protect him. But this time, he's going to get taken down. So is Pimp. So it seems that SK will be the ones uh, suffering for this particular round. But yeah, what I, what I do, is, which is infinitely more risky if there's more than one, one person mid, is just jump into mid and stand by the wall when they put that short smoke there. Because quite often, uh, T's will run out and stand by the left of the boxes on mid to see if anybody's in mid. So it's pretty much a free kill. But then you're, you know, there's a chance to be traded and so on. Need help. So, yeah. Need help out there. Yeah. I mean, it, w it would be probably good to get a, fl uh, a flash over from AA, I think, as a, as a response. Well, Torpedo are about to claim more rounds than they had in the entire first map. A total of four. So, perhaps, you know, let's see if they can keep this going. SK Gaming, they had a, they had a start they could work with, but now they've been sent down the, the economical roller coaster, which has more downs seemingly than ups for them so far. And uh, they're going to have to make do with just a few pistols this round and uh, what they say is a Magis Boy. But you can't really like their chances to take this round. It's all about Torpedo just building their bank. SK Gaming, ha SK Ga Gaming have been doing some you damage. I, ca I can't. I can't. 
I'll do this. No, I can't do this. But they have been doing some good damage, and you can see it reflected on the money of torpedoes. So that is good news, of course, for the SK Gaming fans. And they're going to have a bit of a slope push. Good info here, but looks like torpedo are expecting it. Good, good stuff there. Nice anticipation. Boom, there it is. Three versus five, and SK look like there's not much they can do in this round now. Yeah, it's just about Magic saving this M4 if he can. And uh, that's a good start. Four players left for the T side. And we'll see, I'm not sure if his teammate can uh, make it. There was, there was an M4 to pick up, actually. Magic's boy is upgraded to, to the AK, but it seems maybe they chose to uh, sacrifice the teammate rather than, you know, to try and take the T's away from Magic's boy. But if he can go and pick up the, the rifle, then, you know, he can still try and hold it down. But either way, we have uh, Magic's boy left. I like the sticker. The ham it's, that's the hamster sticker. That's why that's pretty good. I have a, an M4 X-Ray, Dan, with the hamster stickers on. Why? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to figure it out, Dan. Think about it. I don't understand. Oh, you'll get there one day. Otherwise, I'll tell you during the break. Well, it is definitely a cool sticker. And I don't own any stickers. I bought the sticker today for £30. Jeez. Bloody hell. It's That's... my new addiction, Dan. I... I've gone from opening boxes to buying loads and loads of stickers. It's a... A problem. I think it's a cat or a something. Disease. I put it on my M4 Nitro. Which I only started using yesterday, despite having for like nine months. I'm mixing it up then, I'm mixing it, I'm keeping it fresh. Right then, we do have the top mid play from Torpedo. They've been doing this quite often. Again, I'm still sad about freeze, that round with freeze. Where a kill was his. That could have that that probably had a massive impact on that round. This could have been the, the winning and losing point for SK Gaming. And that freeze got nothing and died there, but uh here we go, we got two players in connection now. You know, SK Gaming trying to adjust a little bit to torpedoes. Very, very frequent connector takes and mid presence. The bomb is down towards the A side of the map, so it does feel like Torpedo, they do want to go for this A site once again. And here are the mates. Nice. I still have not learned that one properly. It's an important one. See, two people quietly moving into connector now, and uh, that will be all of the mid-presence from Torpedo as they will move a second man over towards A slope. Cillian's not going to get flashed there, so this could be a problem for the uh, T side, he's been taken down, but Sandwich is a strong position for the uh, CTs, and I'll give you some nerdy info about that in a second. Magic's boy is coming in for the flank from uh, CT itself, and Pip is going over towards T spawn. So, Torpedo are probably going to have problems planting this bomb, I reckon. I say that, and the bomb is about to go down. It is planted for default rather than triple, though, but uh, I think this flank from CT spawn is going to be very unexpected. So, this should get shut down here for SK. As I say that, now we have a trade situation. Oh, look at Zende's position as well. That is a pretty strong one, and he's going to rip Pimp's head off. I'm not sure where the AWPA was, but assuming the AWPA was T-slope at the beginning of that round, you can actually uh, see, I don't know if, if Reese can quickly go over towards the sandwich area on A, but if you look at the, uh, the ground but underneath Tetris, those are crates and uh, like at the very bottom, there's a crates, and you can see through those crates with an AWP from a slope. So uh, there's crates on the bottom right. Yeah, there's a gap in there. So if someone's standing in sandwich, you can see their feet basically, and you can shoot them in the foot. Because you, you can actually shoot them. Yeah. Cool. So if you like, if you timed it so a nade went off just after you shot, then um, they're dead. Nice. Yeah, there's this one on, on dust too that I use sometimes on a slope that, that I rarely see people use. Um, like a little gap you can shoot people through with the open is it counts as a warbang but it will just kill them anyway um speaking of killing dudes Modi is his he's dead he's been killed 
He has received uh, the treatment. This is not a good start for the SFA side. Nope. It is terrible, in fact. It is completely atrocious. It looks like a completely different team uh, to the Cobblestone SK that we saw. I mean, on Cobblestone, they looked on top of all the, the fights. They looked to be doing much better on all the angles. They looked like they always knew what was coming. But uh, on Mirage so far, it's been very much the opposite for them. And I don't know what why. I don't know why, you know, what the major difference is. Is it just that Torpedo are so much weaker on Cobblestone? Despite picking it, which, which, which you would think that would lean you to believe that that's not the case because they picked it. Yeah. Or is SK just so much better on Cobblestone? And in that case, why didn't they just pick it? <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what, what uh, you know. Well, obviously, they didn't get off to the right start. So, ignoring the first three rounds, it's kind of 3 1 at the moment. So uh, the, it kind of the score kind of sucks, but how many Byrons have they actually had? Probably like two, maybe like two or three. Um, well, they won the first round, the first by round, so arguably two. So I'd say three in total, and they've lost two of them. And here is the uh, Pimpin, fourth. Pimper Freeze have one frag each. The, the, there's not much, not much fragging going on for SK. Here you go. Here is the uh, the chance now for SK. If we go back to that shot that didn't land for freeze, who knows what the yeah. score might have been, right? Yeah. The snowball that turned into an avalanche. Oh. That is nice. Yeah. I have not seen somebody jump peak like that before in apps. That's pretty sexy. Oh! Did he hit it? Yeah, he, yeah, he did. He did. Nice. I like this. Man. Freeze. Problems. Last time we cast a freeze, I was, I was definitely being. Uh, he was definitely underperforming. Yeah, he was missing all the shots. And we were saying, oh, you know. Freeze got that na a such sick name value from 1.6 that we've never seen deliver anything. The, okay, he missed, of course, all oh, nice. Oh, unfortunate for Estelian there. But obviously, you know, we didn't see him do much then, and it's hard to live up to that uh, that namesake. But just yeah. for some of the efforts we've seen hit from him here and there, respect. Yeah, perhaps he's having a better time of it now against uh, a lesser opponent, if you will. No, yep. Something true. to bear in mind. You can do things with more confidence because you can actually feel like I feel like I am more skilled. You can't really feel have that feeling against Fnatic. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. You can't really be like, ah, the, the all the oh, okay, uh, maybe not. Crim, okay, not Crims. Uh, okay, no. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much just worse than all of these guys. <laughs> you can't get that feeling. And that is actually kind of an important feeling that, that that plays in the back of your head, where you you believe that even if you get into bad spots, because it's how the how things go. That you, your skill will get you get you out of it. That is a feeling that you'll have against a worse player and uh, a worse players. And right now, Torpedo are completely smashing SK. They are actually making SK look as they looked versus SK on the first map. Like they can't win fights. SK don't look like they can really win these fights, protecting the bomb site. Such a big difference. Yeah, it was kind of going well for them in that round. Then, uh, in what three seconds, three of the SK players get headshots. So, this is uh, this at this rate, we might end up going to three maps. Dan, we might well end up going there. So it's going to be eight to one. I mean, SK can still can still bring this back to eight seven. Like, let's bear that in mind. But it doesn't look very promising at the moment. No, they're done, Japes. It's over. It's just. Uh we should give them the Viking, the Viking uh, burial, and consider them dead. They float, float them out on a piece of piece of wood, and shoot it with a burning arrow, and they can rest in the seas. I wonder how many times those those things were missed. They just floated away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah eaten, how eaten far, by vultures. How far do they do they let them float? I guess they have pretty sick arches, but yeah, yeah. I guess they can. Well, well I'm, I'm guessing they do Crazy it. Wind. They do it fairly early. As opposed to what you see in the movies where they're miles yeah. away and you know go flying in. Good yeah. start here for the uh, CC side, but how long can it continue? We've got Downey getting flashed. Downey. Then they get taken down as well. And uh, just searching for the frags, serving themselves up to the CTs on this occasion. Three to three now, and Freeze is going to be smart enough not to peek there. Getting made that cost in his position. Nice wow. follow up by the uh, Famas and M4. And SK get another round on the board, but how long, how far will this one round take them? They need consistency. They absolutely Continuity. 
he said serving them up, serving themselves up to the CTs. And that was, that, that was messy though. There, there was no, there's no thyme. There's no paprika, James. There's no, no seasonings. That was just, that's like, that's like when I, when I eat things, no seasonings, it's just survival cooking. I like for it. Just, for sheer nutrition, you just get the job done. You don't care about making it look nice. They have nice. picked the tactical pause after winning a round as opposed to, you know, oh, well, we've lost a round, we've got no money, let's do tactical pause. So uh, that's quite smart. Although two of them haven't, well, they've got money to buy. Yeah, away, that's, so. that's a good point. I do actually like that. That's cool. Okay, so this pause might be taking a while, actually. And again, it's, it's just a shame that SK... Uh, didn't manage to win, well, get that frag with Freeze when he jumped over the smoke. He deserved, it deserved it, Dan. He did, yeah. It so deserved it. Where's the Justice League when you need them to correct the, the imbalances in the world? I, e I don't know anything about the Justice League, actually. I don't know anything either. But evil, evil reigns supreme just then, James. Evil won. I don't know if I can live in this world. It was a shame. All the same it indeed. Was, it was a damn mess. So you have to wonder what SK are going to do. Are they going to uh, take some aggression? Like push a ramp, for example, push Palace, go for a mid take. There's a lot of things they can do. Obviously, mid has been very important to Torpedo. Um, so you have to wonder if they're going to, going to go and try and take it away from them at the beginning of the next round. But if they do that, obviously, it's a massive risk. They just want a round. If they get reset, then we might be looking at like a 12-3 a half. I, I would like to see them just go for a, a mid take just because I don't think there's been a single round where SK have played fast into slope or Palace. Maybe so they hold sometimes, but they, they never really push it. So I think early in the round, their players are safe because I think there was, there was one time where we, what we saw was, it's actually quite smart, you know, uh, thinking about it now, where, um, where SK decided to, no, sorry, um, where Torpedo, after forcing a force buy out of the CTs, they're expecting, you know, they, I, th I think they put three or four players towards uh, T-slope defensively, and they were expecting an aggression maybe. So if there is an aggression, like a pop flash player, whatever, they'll catch it and then they can push into the site. But if there isn't, an, uh, or, or, uh, but maybe there's an aggression elsewhere. So maybe the aggression is in, uh, in mid where they had a player listening. Then if there is, is one there, then they know that it's very clear to go into the, uh, you know, for a rush into the A site. But because there was no aggression, instead of just going for it, they decided to actually kind of fan out and just try to get, uh, control the map then afterwards. So I thought that was actually quite quite smart how they handled it. Not many, te not not a lot of teams do you know, take that approach. Um, definitely still more of a favourite for me is is you know the Molotov executes because those are just really hard to stop if they're really very well executed and it's it's more foolproof. But uh, but yeah, I would ex I would expect uh, SK Gaming to try to take away mid. I think it's it's pretty safe as far as the aggressive options go for them. And Torpedo had been consistently putting doing the cat smoke, putting two people top mid. Um, the guy on underpass is usually very delayed. Uh, something that used to used to be very uh, common in the meta actually is that you would never put the two people um, in top mid before the guy on underpass is ready, because you want that guy on underpass to be able to resmoke window or be able to kind of you know make sure that it's safe. Um, so I don't know. That's what I want to see anyway. Well, play the teams are allowed up to five minutes for a tactical Damn. pause. Damn, five minutes. That yeah. is a long ass time that for is, a tactical pause. So what are they doing? Getting, a, that is, getting the whiteboard out, drawing on the whiteboard, taking pictures of it, yeah, make, sending making, it to all their mates. Making tactics. Yeah, <laughs> just making strategies. Let's make some tactics, guys. Yeah. But, uh, but, but I think, I think that, that that makes the most sense as well because I th you're right, you know, they take the pause after the winning round and actually the most important round is not the one, that, well, it, of course, winning rounds is important, but it is now this round. Because Winning rounds is important, Dan. Because as you said, you know, you need to stabilize your economy and win that, the round, string a second one after that first one. You need to string rounds together for it to really be meaningful. To actually, because at this point, they've conceded way too many rounds already in this first half. So yeah. they need to win this round. It's the most important one for them to win if they're gonna have a comeback. Um, so, so yeah, it it's definitely does, does uh, justify a pause and a talk. And you've already seen teams do, do it in this way. Yeah. I don't know actually when I last saw this actually. Me neither. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it at the major. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention to every round where we weren't casting. So uh, yeah. But well, of the ones we 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 did do, I don't recall this from happening. Yeah. It's a, it's Apart a from Australia, of course. Yeah. Um, so were, we, were we even casting that match? Which one? I don't know. Australia's fanatic. When, when we they casted. we did. Australia's fanatic. We casted. I thought so. Yeah. Because I remember I could hear myself saying, wow, 
when Carrigan explained why he paused afterwards. Oh, the BM pause, yeah. The, the BM pause, yeah. The BM. Bad menopause. But yeah, and not menopause. Bad menopause. <laughs> no, not menopause. There's no menopause. So we'll actually get, oh wow, Torpedo just going for a very fast B split. And let's get gaming going with a very normal setup um, themselves. So have to make the frags happen defensively. So far it does look pretty good. If SK was looking to run anything in this round, they have to match this pace of S Torpedo. Boom. Money. Good nades coming in from Downey there. Now three versus two, Asilian's low in shop. Got to try to allow Molly to do something, create some space, allow his teammates to jump out of the, the shop window to get into that bomb site. Molly's got to do something here to get his teammates in. There is actually a flash and they're trying to force the issue right now. Molly still trying to get into position. He's not in position right now, try, forced to take the angle, but then he couldn't face the player from the bench side looking down towards short. So unfortunate for SK there on the coordination. Maybe he's trying to rush that a little bit too much because the bomb had only just been planted. So they did have time for Molly to get in position. But um, now it's going to be 2-9. Uh, so they're going to lose that round, which we bigged up. They had a five-minute pause, James. If you have a five-minute pause, you better win that round. <laughs> yeah, this is... You have to wonder if this half is already over at this point. Back on oh, yeah. the USPs and the CZs and other random crap. So uh, this is not a good half from SK. Dream is dead. Yeah, it's really weird that uh, seems neither side have any T. I have any CT. Well, we don't know about Torpedo yet on the other side, I suppose, but, uh, but yeah, definitely feel like uh, we, we're seeing SK struggling with some coordination, struggling with some uh, adaptation as well against the, the T side of uh, Torpedo. Again, I, you know, I feel like there was a lot of, expo uh, a lot of exploitation that could have been put, uh, done on the middle um, just to kind of throw Torpedo off of their game, stop allowing them to dictate the pace so heavily as they were. But, you know, if, if SK can scrap together five rounds, there is definitely a chance in for them. But, you know, it gets worse and worse, obviously, if they're not able to do that. And the uh, Torpedoes, at the moment, are starting to look like they're having a blinding second map. They, they could finish this 62 instead. Freeze takes the risk. He tries to go for the sort of That's like the piece that you're talking about. Yeah. And he can't get anything out of it. Instead, gets tagged going for the re-peak on connector. And this, this Freeze is, in, freeze is in, in trouble, I think. He is in the danger zone at this point, at this timing of the round, with such low health. And he's got no support now either, so he's got to be careful that close with the orb. Yeah, there is a player in the underpass now, but speaking of uh, plays and places, whatever that means, Modi's pushed T-spawn, but he's about to get shot in the back. Oh, he does a 118, takes down Darcy actually, who just came out of Palace. And now he's being flanked again by uh, Atta, so Things getting a bit crazy. You can see Torpedo starting to uh, speed up now because it seems like their game is up. But uh, there are flanks all over the place. Now we've got Decent, he's made his way into jungle. The Torpedo were, were moving towards B, trying to get a duel on balcony. Then they moved towards A, but now Torpedo's made his way through jungle. They're moving back towards B again because they've sandwiched the CT players. And uh, Modi needs to move, needs to get moving pretty quickly because the T's are starting to move into a B bomb site now, but the bomb's not going to make it because freeze. So uh, SK back on the scoreboard once again. Question is, can they stay there for these last two rounds? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you can see that the only player really taking risks for the team, or SK, you know, that they're relying on. Um, the only player they're rely on, relying on really for risk taking is Freeze with the AWP. And you can see this round he's going to do the same. He's going to go for a, a timing into Palace with the AWP. This time he'll find nothing. He came up with nothing really in, in this mid peak. And so, you know, I was praising him right at the start of this match. Going to go straight back to, to throwing him under the bus. But no, we will have the push in here. Magic Boy has to defend with the AK. He's being flashy, spraying wildly, missing absolutely the, everything. And it seems like my problems with casting persist. As does SK Gaming's troubles persist in winning CT rounds on Mirage. Having to go for the retake on B is not a good place to be. Everyone's bunched up right now and Torpedo taking full advantage. But in comes Asilian. Gets a quick double to try to open his team out onto the bomb site. But can they win the battles here? There's still a one-man defense for Torpedo. And it could be quite deadly. They don't know where Darty is. And that's a great angle. Darty gets the frag onto Asilian. Now just one player left. 
the orb and freeze. Freeze is going to miss the shot. And that's going to be that. Torpedo completely smashing SK Gaming right now. They can't string two rounds together, it seems. Not even two rounds. Well, this is their last opportunity to get one round. Three rounds on the board will give them some opportunity after the pistol, but uh, you know they will need basically every round on the second half. But for now, they've got double UMP and a CZ. And again, we'll see, uh, ooh, we've got two players moving through mid. Make that, th well, three, looks like three were going to go through mid, but uh, they are in fact moving back in towards the a bomb site where uh, Zende has been taken down. That's going to be another gun in the hands of the CT's Modi flying in with the FAMAS. Good start here for SK. Bomb is still top mid with a second player as well. And uh, Decent's lurking in VAPs at the moment. So five versus three. Now SK just need to uh, show the bomb. See the bomb. Wow. This is not <laughs> James. Dan, what are you even saying? Oh, James, no. what, what is going on right now? This is absolute madness. Azza just dropping the bomb in like a really exposed position on middle when they don't have mid, like they haven't solidified mid control yet. And his teammates dying around him manages to somehow get a couple frags back so that that's not, a, you know, that doesn't turn into a huge leak in this round for his team. And now this, this, uh, this push here from SK, they're very far behind the bomb at the moment. And the bomb could very well go straight to B and completely oh, circumvent the CTs. This is a goddamn mess, James. This round is a goddamn mess. This is, this is uh, quite cool, though, by Decent, actually, going for the flank here in CT. So they could have tried to go straight for the shop, but Decent's going to be able to maybe get a frag here. There it is for free. Pimp is down. And Magis Boy is going to spot them. Gets the first kill. That's the bomb rolling down into his, his embrace with 15 seconds left. Decent has got to get a move on, and he will go down. But what a weird round that was. Very strange round. Very strange round, indeed. Yeah, that round was... I, I still don't understand the, the decision there. Atta runs up to his teammate. He's orping from chair. It's like, here you go. I'm just going to run up to you to drop the bomb. And then react to the two CTs that push at that moment from me. Who, you know, I'm now in that incredibly exposed position. And I managed to frag them both. It seems like a mess, I've got, I've got to say. And it's, it's, uh, it's crazy because they're 11 rounds to four. So I don't know, where, I don't know, you know who is playing better right now which seems odd to say. Because we're seeing mistakes from both teams here. Torpedo definitely making much less mistakes. They're looking much more on individually on map two. But SK really need to, to step it up. You know, you expect a little bit more consistency out of them. And let's see if they can uh, rise to the occasion now in the second half. Have we lost game sound? Do we have a game sound? No, I think it's just quiet. Because everybody's walking down. Uh, oh, well, I, uh, generally yeah, when people are walking, so you, you can't really hear anything in Counter Strike. It seems really quiet. Not sure if you've played it before, Dan. If I've played much. <laughs> How dare you question my my CS? Well, this is curious. Is there going to be a, a boost? Ah, oh, yes, there is. I was going to say so. A short push into B, and then perhaps a boost into CPL for the flank. But uh, the bomb's going back to top mid actually, as SK have two people come up the stairs to B, so uh, what is the play now? Okay, I was going to get a bit worried, so they're going to go over towards A because they didn't have vision and there is already a flank there from Atta. Starting to get tagged now are the CTs. The numbers game is uh, going to pay off eventually, but via trade. So Zende coming in close, going to pay for it now. He's got only 20 HP. No one's checked the back! And he'll get taken down. Doesn't matter though. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, matter. he'll get taken down anyway. So Darcy's made his way onto the site. He is alone now because Atta just got absolutely wrecked. And there it is, SK. Are they still able to bring this back here? You have to expect the 2-0. But uh, starting 4-11 on, on the T side is not going to be easy. No, it's, it's going to be very, very hard, actually. I mean, I, I expect I expected to go to the, to the third map, to be honest. Um, I think this is such a hard grind, hard graft for SK Gaming. But then it does depend on that CT side of Torpedo. I mean, if it has, if it, if it does bear reminiscence to the previous map, then maybe it is going to be possible for SK. Indeed. Now they've got a couple Mag-10s. There's only one Molotov. So let's see how they play this anti force by. They have mid control so far. This is kind of where, you, you know, you want them to start moving together onto a bomb site, using those nades to clear out the danger spots and get some good, you know, easy entrances. 
and there's a bit of a kerfuffle there in the connector and it will go in favor of the CTs. Once again, looking a little bit scary right now for SK Gaming and this very sp all three players are isolated right now on this anti-force buy. It's an interesting spot for a Cillian to stand in with the bomb on his, on his Jack Jones versus four players. This is going to pay off for him, they're going to spot the bomb there. But uh, fortunately for Asilian, there are no other CTs there to do anything else. And it doesn't really give them much indication as to where the, uh, where the bomb is going and as to where the support for the bomb is. So it could be, could be B, could be A. But I think we have a flank coming in from CPL actually from uh, Darty, who's going to get taken down. And the bomb gets planted for short. So Zende's coming in from short, but he won't get there fast enough to stop the bomb from getting planted. Got Modi over towards uh, T-spawn, but Cillian needs to back off now. Too late, however, gets taken down. So Manix boy has got one HP, still putting in work though, just needs to hide and be a problem for Downey and Atta. Modi coming in with the MAC-10 doing some harassment, but again, Manix boy still alive with one HP, and the round is theirs, is, is, is uh, for SK. Yeah, very important win. But uh, very, I mean, they, they definitely put themselves up to, to a lot of risk there um, using almost n no grenades, it feels like, when, they, when they're moving into these, these, uh, these positions. They're relying on just hitting the shots with superior weaponry. But as you can see, up close, the pistols, they, they can do anything in this game. So you, you need, to, need to definitely use strength in numbers and utility to, to get onto those, uh, those key, key spots to avoid danger. But the stack comes in for Torpedo on round 18. And this is going to be another interesting challenge for, for uh, SK because, again, you know, they know what they're up against. They know that it's going to be an eco from Torpedo. And, you know, your teams that do one of two things. Either, either you know, typically you have the Molotov execute on both sides. You can do it on both sides blind. Or you try to get the info with one of the players that has a MAC-10 to see where the stack is and then you go to the other side. That, that's how, how it typically works. And you can see that is exactly what's happened. You've got Modi. Com uh, completely clearing out the A-bomb site this time around. The spots that there's no stack stops his teammates from going into B and the bomb will be planted safely on A. Just what you, you want to see. The information play is good and you don't risk it, you don't risk it basically. And it should, I mean, the only way that you should win a round like this as the CTs is if your, if your opponents make an, an insanely huge mistake. And so, so it's very good uh, not to see that happening. We don't like mistakes. I like how Modi's playing close, but he literally only has the USP here. Nice. Well, Torpedo uh, have still got a four-round buffer, but if they lose the buy in the next round, then things are going to get very interesting indeed. Can I just say though that uh, again, not not. I mean, this isn't this is not really hindsight analysis or anything, but Modi to. Try to go for kills there when he's got like full Kevlar and helmet and just a USP, and they have they have no Kevlar or anything. They they, they save nothing there basically. Is is I mean you're risking you're risking a lot of value for no return basically, and so I don't know I don't really like that. That's a leak to me, right? That is a leak. Um, so we're gonna see the 7-Eleven scoreline. Up oh, on freeze. Looks like he's going to be able to smoke off middle here. So the approach for SK. SK closing the distance here between uh, between the rounds. The deficit is, is definitely closing. Do less than 20 damage. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. But they need to they need to do exactly what Torpedo did, which was repeatedly break the money. I wonder if the T side is why SK chose Mirage. It's very possible, yeah. Look at that. They've got a player into CPR with the second smoke. And uh, that's going to force Torpedo out of CPR entirely, all the way back into CT spawn, just holding an angle. And there's a minute on the clock, so that's going to put one of the T one of the CTs completely out of action. Although, look at the aggressive position they have towards A, with uh, Atar inside A slope around the flower pot area, and uh, Downey, what is he holding? A flashbang. Okay. There are no mollies or HEs on the CT side, which could have, done, could have done some bonus damage for them. Nice short hold by Zende so far, it's going to get a frag for him. Got Darty in for support as well, but the flashes and the smokes won't be helping his situation. The flank is coming in and uh, flying by with the P90 is a Cillian causing big problems. So Zende, Atta and Decent remain. 
One CT, come, two coming in from shorts. So we'll see what SK's uh, short hold is like. Yeah, I mean, so far, so good here for SK. I mean, Torpedo really should want to save all three weapons here. Um, or not, we're going to lose one. It's kind of a little bit, a little bit annoying because their money is going to be somewhat screwed. Um, they're going to have that fourth round loss bonus, which is 2,900. So they actually could have, with three players keeping their rifles, they could have had a really respectable buy in this next round. But because only two save, then, you know, two, if you have three players, you can drop for the two much, much more easily and have nades. Um, but now we're going to see a spot where they're not even going to be necessarily incentivized to drop because they can't drop for everyone. So that, that kind of sucks. So then it's just going to be now a save instead, which means, and the problem with that is that SK Gaming gets the opportunity to build their economy much more, which means that when Torpedo finally do win their round, if they do win their next buy round, they're going to have to win against another buy round instead of being able to force Ecos more quickly. So here we go, quick mid aggression, and that's going to give them a lot of info. So they're going to try to level them or mitigate the disadvantage by playing for fast info. And boom! Gonna get some deeks in here, but no connections just yet. Pimp is gonna be able to take down the first player, Atta and now Darty. And SK Gaming definitely looking to, to be winning a somewhat of a clean round here. We've got CTs all over the place, though, spilling over the smoke into the bomb site. Able to pick up a couple kills and do some quick damage, which is nice, but it's a wrestle on Zende's shoulders now to try to close the round. It does not look too likely that that's gonna be the case. With the spray there, idle spray through the smoke is not gonna connect to all, with all too much. So lick hero there onto Pimp, and that's going to be it. Now it's over. 9-11. SK Gaming are actually clawing their way back here. It just, it just, I guess it, their CT side just needs a lot of work, James. Perhaps it does. Well, Torpedo are on the buy once again, so let's see if they can increase their uh, chances to take this to three maps in this round. Otherwise, they might be in quite a bit of trouble. AWP onto Darty as well. He's going to be going, to be going into mid. Or perhaps not. Maybe realizing he was going to be a bit late going to connector instead. And uh, I wonder if that Molotov was meant for him. He's not being touched by it at the moment. It's gone a bit to the left, so didn't go on the high ground. And uh, Larson is, sorry, Asilian is going to get tagged. It's hard because you can't even see all their names. I have no idea what their actual names are, apart from Pimp. Yeah. Just casting problems as well. There we go. Modi is the first to go down, but uh, Freeze getting a kill somehow onto Decent. Still got Zende in the ladder room for his team. Again, this is uh, proving more and more popular a spot for the short player. So they're going to try to have a triple point attack here into the A side. They've got the bomb on slope, or will they? The bomb's actually rotating back and out, perhaps just trying to cover the palace area. The palace push is much more common these days. Big pick there onto Zende into middle. That's the three versus two now. That There it is. Maybe he was just looking for that palace pick, and that's exactly what he gets. And now the pick comes onto the bomb site. It is falling down like a stack of cards here for Torpedo. This looks like uh, SK Gaming going to have a strong finish to what looked like a, a round that they were really in trouble with initially. And now, now it's not so hard at all. Just one player towards the CT side, looking to push his way in with the M4. No teammates to help him though. He's alone. Is he going for the ninja? I, I will leave right now if he gets a ninja. It looks like he is. Oh, please no. Oh, they just spotted him. Thank God. Pim just needs to stay alive for a little bit. And there we go, he's gonna do it. Thank so God. No ninja for torpedo, their torpedoes will be. Ninjas are great but they can only be made by like a huge mistake by a team. Yeah. And that should never be seen in professional play. And, but there are like some exceptions and weird circumstances where you can see them. Or you can have, I guess, like smoke ninjas or something. But, uh, but yeah, it's, 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 it can, can be cringy sometimes to see it happen. Um, either way, it's gonna be SK now with the fast taking middle and they're gonna be met with some aggression here. And it's aggression. It's going to find itself a quick kill, a quick trade, but it is the T's that come off the better of it all. As SK Gaming are one away from tying up this, uh, this map. And of course, they won map one of this best of three too. So 
they would very much like to close this on two maps, I should think. Especially now that Torpedo are really starting to show that they can actually give them some trouble. And this flash, the timing on the push from Darty is quite optimal. Catching somebody with a nade in his hand. Now it's going to swing back into the favor of the CT, just like that. Snap of the fingers, and the advantage has changed. But that is a fantastic shot from Freeze to level it up. Two versus two, and the bomb is on the way. But I don't think it's going to have time to get planted here. Can, he, can Magic Exploit get this plant down? Looks like he's going to be able to get out of apartments, actually, for this plant. So two versus two with the bomb down, down now. Yeah, Decent is going to be spotted and taken down by Freeze if Darty miles away. Um, in his favor is the fact that both SK players weren't near short, so he wouldn't have heard him running up the stairs, but the Molotov was slowing down a bit. There's still uh, a few nades, but I think these players will just keep their guns out for the time being. And uh, there we go. His position is announced. He just need to... He's looking for the trade fragger, but not needed. Magic Sport Boy to take him down 11 to 11. So the buys are getting harder and harder for Torpedo. They can keep forcing each round, but uh, they're going to be lacking utility, especially on this round where they've got about 3,800 plus in the bank so indeed they're going to go on eco and potentially the sk gaming take the lead and then try to shut them down with a full full buy in the uh, next round absolutely sk gaming doing a decent job so far in bringing themselves back into this one not losing their cool and you can see that that t side is definitely benef beneficial for them so here we go pop flashed in by a teammate I, the Virtus Pro guys have really nice, really sexy self pop flashes down those stairs. I've got to say, Taz in particular has some nice pop flashes there. <coughs> the NIP guys used to, uh, oh, well, get right, used to throw HEs down there instead. Oh, so really? if somebody's oh, okay. camping around the corner, they just get fully wrecked by the HE. Well, it's going to be Torpedo hoping and praying that SK go towards that A bomb site. But SK Gaming, they haven't this time around sacked any players for information. Again, totally fine if you get the uh, if you get the right nades in the right place to uh, to deny the dangerous positions of those CTs. And here comes a quick push with a flash. Flash didn't work, but the shots did, and the trade is going to go in there now for the CTs. As we see a big split onto the A site, or not even really a split, but just you know, three men moving up slope. One trying to get in position on connector, but he's got Downey there with that P250, ready and waiting. He misses the shots though, and Pimp is going to shut him down. Looks like this should be pretty good now here for SK Gaming. Bomb is planted. The Deagle wailing through the smoke onto Magic's Boy. He's going to remove him, send him to the bench. Now one versus two for Zende. Definitely a possibility at this, at this uh, stage. But Freeze has started to hit some shots, so we don't like his chances. And there you go, quick flick. And Freeze has found himself in the last half of the, last half of the second map. What? The last half of the last half. I don't, I don't, no, it doesn't make sense, does it? That block coming out for Torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, even know. Why do we do this? I don't know what to do. <laughs> there are three orps on what the map now. And indeed, Dan, it appears that all the players have made it to the last half of the, of last the second half. map. Of the last half of the second map. The last quarter of the second map? Well, I mean, it's going to end with 10 players you, you, no matter when you, it ends. You have to cut it in half again. But. Oh no, not going too well here for T Torpedo, is it? Just straight push up, up slope here for SK Gaming at the start of the round. Freeze now trying to go towards middle. Um, so that does make me wonder if they're going to go for, or try to get that short plan, if that was the plan all along. Freeze trying to scan for those shots and he's going to spot Darty just in time and that frag actually makes a difference now. Putting SK to a man advantage. But Freeze is now moving into the B-bomb site so the bomb's actually rotating towards... B, Freeze just has to hold this down now. And there is a player at the peak. Oh, he still gets the shot, though. Freeze, please. He is actually connecting everything now. So it's Freeze is so up and down, isn't he? Sometimes he's missing all the easy ones. And then, then the next next minute, he's going to be hitting everything. Well, again, uh, I mean, bearing in mind, we're playing against a lesser level team to his, the true. usual opponents. Yeah, that's true. It should be easier. So uh, we can only read into it so much. SK Gaming now three rounds away from taking the second map. So an unlikely 2-0 considering their start. Although uh, don't count out Torpedo just yet. They are indeed back on another force by UMP. FAMAS coming out. Lack of nades, generally speaking. Two top mid for the T's and the CT's are looking to take some aggression to take things back. Pimp is uh, waiting for so he's been flashed by another CT. 
Not sure if they've spotted the split though coming in as uh, Asilian moves in from short. Magic Spoil on the site as well. We've got CT dancing around towards the van, but Freeze is going to shoot him in the head, running, <laughs> just running in with the AWP. So uh, things are getting a bit crazy here, but advantage T for now soon to disappear though, but they have got a bomb down. Yeah, that should still be the advantage, and hey, they got Freeze alive. One versus three now, so he's. Uh, I say, so now he's got his biggest test, but the shot found him very quickly. And Torpedo, when did they last win a round? I mean, it's been ages. I think they've been on 11 for, is it the first time? Yeah, that is the first wow. round. That is their first round. So that's, that's a lot of rounds. I wonder how it feels. I think it feels good. But now if they lose this round, they pretty much lose the match. It's the possibilities for that to happen are, uh, are, are great from that position forwards. But what do SK have to throw at them to keep them off their game? Well, it looks like it's going to be the other way around. Torpedo going for the aggression in the palace area. Boom! That's a wrap. That is, that is, That's a GG cannon right there. That is a wrap indeed. Oh my goodness. They took initiative and they got shut down. They got told to shut up. <laughs> it's like, sit down. All right, so it appears we have a smoke execute coming in, which is going to nullify some of this uh, positioning from Darty, although perhaps he could jump onto the box. I don't know how much you'll see over the top of it. Tollbooth would be a bit riskier. And the Freeze is, is the one looking to flank with the AWP, but Modi, oh man, just nothing working out for Torpedo here, apart from Darty, who's got a frag at the back. It's still a player in Palace, actually, so he could get another frag here. Oh, just missing Magic Boy. Oh, in the head as well. So, uh, Darty doing big things for his team now. Downey gets taken down. So, uh, oh, sorry, he gets a frag on somebody. What am I talking about? Ooh, Darty's got the shenanigans. But he's going to get made even more. And now he's not in position to do something here. Ah, so he's looking under crates as well. To see if anybody walks through uh, past triple. But that would be madness. So now both players are in CT. Darcy knows what to look for, but uh, so does Freeze. He is unstoppable today. Jumping up to short now and uh, good timing because Downey has Molotov lower. And another round in the bag for SK. Freeze is going bananas at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's funny to see, I mean, that he's only 15 kills right now because it tells you that he, his first half was horrible. But it, his second half is... Amazing. I felt, did he, maybe he only got like two or three bags or something in the first half. It was pretty, pretty dire. I mean, he made a lot, he tried to make a lot of plays with the orb, to be fair to him. And they just, nothing just went his way. Um, he, I mean, we had that mid play that we were very sad about and so on. But uh, anyway, SK Gaming looking like they're going to take this to match point in this round. They have the advantage to do so. Let's see if they can make it happen though. And I have to say, I do appreciate Darty's ability to get the shot there on the player, player planting the bomb because those spots you should be able to 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 know how, how to wall bang or you know make those penetration frags through smokes from that position at CT spawn because you're very commonly going to get smoked off there and of course the boxes are so wall bangable that you should really be able to understand those angles with without uh, vision of them um, so we will we'll see uh, SK taking this one slow they realize the economic turmoil of their opposition and now they're going to try to get themselves perhaps on this B split maybe get themselves up catwalk take the bomb through B apps but you have Downey there close with that CZ can he get himself some kills if he does the bomb is in apps so there is a chance here and there is the first little setup of these uh, these CTs working out for the t uh, for the uh, for the side, but oh, Freeze no. missing an easy shot there, able to get saved by his teammate. Three versus two now, as uh, things look more and more terrible for the torpedo side. It's just Downey left. He has no support right now. Oh, CZ in the back of the head. This is looking scary. He can probably pick up that weapon now. You can see the bomb is going to make it straight away. Not taking any chances. The health is really low. Freeze does have Downey pinned down in this position. He's going to back away, which I do very much enjoy. I am a fan, James, uh, not of the flashy plays, but the smart and consistent plays that deliver time and time again. That's what, that's what I'm a fan of. Nice. This, this is why I called up, uh, I believe it was Modi, 
on the start. Yes, on the start of this half. For losing his armor and his, his helmet for no gain. It's a very, very high risk, losing value of, of uh, like 1500 or whatever for the potential to remove value from the CTs of 300. So <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, we are going to see that 15-12 right now, Torpedo up against the wall and having to use, having to use just inferior equipment, to say the least. That's one way to put it. Pots and pans. Pots and pans, and this is not Like TF it's a TF2 And match. this is not TF2, where pots and pans actually can do something. That's just ridiculous. What is ridiculous? The pots, the frying pan mode. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Hopefully they don't. People who want to be serious, but they don't, they don't, they don't really want to be serious, Dan. It's like people taking selfies in the gym. Just get out. Anyway, so SK push is coming in and decent. Can he get anything done here? His team are basically all dead. So uh, perhaps there isn't much for him to... Oh, they're trying to knife him with the bomb as well. That is absolute disrespect. Modi jumped into connector with the bomb and a knife out. And uh, there we go, there's the spinning glory, whatever that is. Okay. And we finished 2-0. So probably the, the score it should have been, perhaps taking longer than it should have taken with that starting performance on uh, the T side S here by SK. SK have to look CT. at that, that CT side, don't they? They have to just sit down on them and be go, oh, guys, guys. Pretty guys. much. <laughs> just, you know, because, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, let them, I'll let them do the work. But, uh, but yeah, that definitely seems to be a league. Because their CT on the first, first map was great. It was indeed, but it fell apart on the second. But either way, they take it 2-0, so that's a good start for them in this Invitational. Um, stay tuned for more scheduling of matches from Starladder. I'm not 100% sure if there's a match tomorrow, but hopefully we'll find out soon. And uh, if there is, we'll probably put it on Twitter or something. So that's just one best of three for today. So uh, go and check out the action over at Malmo. We'll see you probably tomorrow for more Starladder. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>